Maintenant, nous assistons quoi Nous assistons à une grande sortie de la part de la, de, du portier équato-guinéen. Parce que nous voyons là que l'équipe de l'équato-guinéen de semble avoir revenu au score parce qu'elle n'entend pas se laisser faire. Pour cela, je vous donne la parole. Merci pour. Voilà maintenant que le joueur de la Guinée équatoriale, en personne d'Ibrahim, est couché sur le terrain retrait. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez, M. Mbarak À this point in time, this is a much needed thing from the UK team. They need to relay the time. They need to the while away time. I try to keep the way away from the Equatorial Guinea. And um, at the end of the day, we might actually be celebrating the UK team. But I repeat, I repeat, it is not over and it is over. We still have about 10 more minutes into this game and anything can see happen. We can have the Equatorial Guinea getting the much needed goal in this particular game to bring them back into the game for the second time. Uh, but it is now, UK team need to keep the boy away. From that guy again, that number seven man, Awan Sekiro, who has been very instrumental to all the goals being scored by the, uh, the Guineans. It is a throw-in going to the, uh, taken by Awan Sekiro, he tried to locate that danger man, number seven man again, for Abib, but Abib calls him with the ball, it was what I got in Colasa the other time. Next play there, slightly off target, and the goal kick to the uh, UK team. Yes, the fans are, chant are chanting UK, UK, UK. We still have 10 more minutes to go to see if maybe you're going to keep that forever. A low kick out from the goalkeeper. It is hard for the ball. He needs to do more by keeping the ball. He tries to locate Muzambi, but he uh, has been dispossessed. It is the Guineans that are possessing the ball now. Nothing there. What does he do? Try to work. The left pass there. Good defending. Good defending from the UK defender. It is, it is a very try to be the goalkeeper. Yeah, it is understandable that um, the Guinean needs to get a goal, but the goalkeeper needs to stay intact in the goal post, talking about Ibrahim Babagida. If not, we might be talking about two goal lead for the UK team. It's still the UK being dispossessed there by the Equatorian game. I thank you, Jabu Barak, Jamal. Um, I know you wanted to say something since. Um, quickly, quickly, say something. Yeah. Bien sûr, actuellement, le terrain est très, très rempli. Comme vous pouvez constater, ce stade est vraiment, vraiment plein. Les gens sont venus assister en nombre à ce match entre la Grande-Bretagne et l'équipe de la Guinée équatoriale. Comme on vous l'avait dit au début de ce match, la Grande-Bretagne, si elle est sortie vainqueur dans ce match, rencontrera le Nigeria après au oh, second tour, bien sûr. Nous sommes actuellement à à peu près 85 minutes de jeu. L'équipe de la Grande-Bretagne qui meurt toujours par 4 buts à 3 après un penalty inscrit par Holik. Uh, thank you, Dad Jamal. Quickly, quickly, Army Dries. What have you seen so far? We've seen an action coming there from the time. What do you think about the penalty? And um, what do you think uh, of the chances uh, of the uh, UK side? As I said earlier, that it, is, it was a tactical play from that man that actually maneuvered himself and he made the defender commit from him. And that commit, that, that thing he has actually done. And there is a substitution here, the number 14 shirt going out, uh, coming in, and the number 17 shirt coming in. What will he do at this minute, at this point of this time, where we have about less than five minutes from our time here to the hand and the blast of the whistle to mark the end of the game? Looking at the situation of things, as I've said earlier on, the penalty kick actually was a penalty. That is what we call tactical play. Many thanks to that guy. Looking at that, one, two passes going from that number 10 now to number 11. Can he get the ball? Now he has gotten the ball. What will he do? What will he do? Trying to mesmerize. Now to number 23 shirt. Number 23 shirt. He crossed the ball and what a waste to move. That was a poor attempt there coming from uh, Gatorick. And I wonder, you should have done better than that, Mubarak. Tony needs to be cautioned this time around. You don't need to go for more goals this time around. If you have it by chance, just yeah, so be it. But for now, you need to keep the boy away from the Kitoria. And that is the end of the game between the Kitoria Guinea and the UK team. And now, we have with the first win for the UK team. This is the very first time the United Kingdom will be playing on the side of Africa and securing a win for themselves. It's the first time they will be getting a win. And then, this was done in a most scintillating way. First goal. Please
up at the United Kingdom team, and Equatorial Guinea was only able to get three goals in this particular encounter. You will all agree with me. It's been an exciting game. It has been the most exciting match so far in this particular uh, tournament. Congratulations to the UK team. Congratulations to the UK supporters. And there you go, meet the almighty Nigeria in your next game. Yes, Abu Barak, you are very, very, very right at that. It is a jubilation galore here at the Toba Di Codina Stadium in Jebode. It is a jubilation galore for the fans uh, of the UK side and that it is uh, Khalid. Khalid who has been given the man of the match, the man who scored the penalty, who has been fantastic uh, for the UK side. And now, uh, right now, we can see the fans um, mobbing, mobbing their, pl their players, talking of the uh, UK side, the fans are on the pitch. Abu Barak, we are seeing a very happy side there. Yes, talking about the fans, I wonder what the fans will look like when the uh, UK is actually playing in Nigeria. Because I'm very, very sure 75% of the UK fans are Nigeria. And the next game, uh, the UK next game is going to be against Nigeria. Maybe we're going to have the fans as massive as this, or we're going to have them supporting their own country, Nigeria, only time with that. I can't wait to see Nigeria play United Kingdom. Yes, Abu Barak, I support you there. I wonder what it would be like seeing a clash of interest between City Swan supporting their own team, Nigeria, and supporting UK team. We can't tell. And um, it's going to be a wonderful sight when it gets to Nigeria, Pastor United Kingdom. Um, Jamal, I know you wanted to say something, and I'm quickly, quickly, say something so that we can analyze this boss so far. Jamal. Merci beaucoup. Monsieur Abdoufata et Monsieur Mbarak pour votre commentaire. Nous avons actuellement ici au Stade international en combat des Codina où la Grande-Bretagne est actuellement en euphorie et ils sont très très contents d'avoir gagné ce match contre la Guinée équatoriale. Après trois buts pendant la première mi-temps, ils ont pu euh, garder ce score. Mais malgré cela, la Guinée équatoriale est revenue au score, ce qui leur a donné trois buts partout. Et bien avant la fin de ce match, un pénalty a été accordé à l'équipe de la Grande-Bretagne grâce à une foncée de Rolik sur le plan droit dans le temps pas de réparation de leur équipe adverse, le PLE, comment ça, la but n'a 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 plus n'a plus rien fait que ce n'est que d'accorder ce penalty là à les aux joueurs en ligne. Voilà maintenant, actuellement, nous avons ici à côté de moi M. Konaté qui va faire son analyse de ce match pour nous. Merci beaucoup à tous les spectateurs. Vous nous écoutez de la M Can Radio à la fréquence 90.0 MHz. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup au Mandelé Analyse. Je veux dire que vraiment, c'était vraiment une prestation très fantastique. Les deux équipes nous ont quand même fait vivre de belles prestations et ils nous ont offert ici du spectacle. Memoria. Donc nous pouvons tout simplement dire que la victoire est revenue à l'équipe de la Grande-Bretagne grâce à cette fantastique et merveilleuse et qui vient de marquer le fameux et célèbre attaquant Sean Kai, qui a été porté sur les épaules par Tresman. Donc la Grande-Bretagne sera face prochainement à l'équipe du Nigeria. Merci. merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup Jama, merci beaucoup Jama partner. Yeah, we are back into the studio. Yes, uh, the thank you, Mubarak. Um, yes. It has been a wonderful side there from our um, uh, commentators on the pitch there at uh, the indoor stadium of Otuba Dupont United International Stadium. Right now, I'm with uh, Idris and Abdulatif. Abdulatif, I'm so far so good. We have seen uh, the actions coming from them. Um, coming from um, the UK side, they've won this match four, four to three uh, for the Equatorial side. It was a wonderful penalty coming there for Kali. What do you have to say about the penalty? Thank you very much, my co-colleagues. I'm very happy for the United Kingdom team. A good congratulation goes to them. They try, they put their hearts together. After that four goal loss to Ghanaians, they came back, they went back to the drawing board, they matured their plans, they put it into use, and at the end of the day, they were able to, so I told you earlier, they, that we are in for a thriller. We shared in between the United Kingdom team and the Equatorial Guinea. And talking about the, the Halik Khan, he's a wonderful player, he's a short player, so skillful, so magnificent. He was able to keep his calm and uh, by the I say a big congratulations because a whole lot of players have missed that opportunity. Talking about the treasure, looking at the treasure, looking at what is 
Nigeria. 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 Nige